go. Circle, 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 push. One. Three again. One, two, three. Touch. One, two, three. Good. Now we'll go to two. Kind of work ourselves down. So one, two. Oh. One, two. Now we'll do one more with two. One, two. Because really right now we just practiced a bunch of extra circles by adding in more. Now we'll go to one. Mini circle, pitch. Now you sit there and done a rocker that doesn't come to a stop. Mini circle, pitch. And just so when you're watching this, Aaron, you want to watch out for when we mini circle and then we go right back to what we're used to doing and then go into our pitch. That's probably going to happen to me. If I pitch the game ever again, I might revert, hopefully not. Um, so then the same drill can be repeated from the full motion. Goodness! Get up there. Okay. Oh, okay. Full motion. Three mini circles. One, two, three. She wants to go, that's okay. Three again. One, two, three. Good. Then we can go to two. One, two. Pitch. Two mini circles. One, two. Pitch. And one mini circle now. Mini circle. Pitch. And I totally get where the mini circle is kind of awkward if we do it in front of us. We really want to be like on the side. And I really like it when my pitchers grab their hand on the ball inside the mitt and they're not like allowing the mitt to hold on to their hand as they circle. Because mm -hmm. then we get like tangled. So you really want to be nice and able to pull your hand out of the glove at any time. One and pitch. So work yourself in a series of ladders when you're at home um, until you get down to only doing one circle. And remember, I like her to circle back as far as she can. And what we're looking for is either showing the hand or the hand slightly on the side is fine for like a lot of pitchers to do that. We just don't want to show the entire ball because that creates extra rotation. So either hand or slightly on the side when we go back here. And then pitch. So good job. 